Yo, it is good, yo, it's your boy Ty back here with another episode of our road to the $250,000 My Team Tournament. I got the rare franchise accolade, boom, that is done, that is accomplished. The other one was for uh, the current team photo, that's done and that's accomplished as well. So basically, every other thing possibly that I could get done in my team this season is done. Clutch time offline is done triple threat uh, obviously co-op it's not that big of a deal there's no centerpiece in there that's not done next season i'll have to do it my team unlimited is done although the pack was horrible clutch time online is done triple threat online is done domination not quite done but we are you know getting closer and closer and after we do go ahead and finish triple threat offline that's where we are going to turn our attention so today what is the goal? Well, it's to get 31 triple threat offline wins. And I'm going to see how long it takes me. Okay, I got my timer up right here. And I'm going to just see how long it takes me to get 31 games done. Now, this is on superstar difficulty. Not that it matters a ton. For me, I'm not going to go in there with this lineup. I'm actually going to go in there with a guy that I can knock down some threes with. I'm going to take in, uh, I'm going to go with John Morant, just because I personally, uh, no, I'm going to go with Steph Curry. He's a cheese ball from the three-point line. And I also got Evo Jalen Dern. Why? Well, look, he's an Evo card, so it's going to register him as that Ruby version of him. And I'm not going to showcase every game, but I'll, I'll, I'll showcase, you know, kind of what I do, how I play. So the, basically the only move I ever do is that move right there. Okay, That's really it. Now, it's on Superstar. But everything I shoot, honestly, with Ambi Steph should be green. And on defense, I basically just let them do what they want to do because I need a, a few blocks with Duran. I just try to come over late, get a contest. But really, I just try to speed them up, honestly, is what I try to do. Why does it say season two? Y'all see that? It says season two on the court, I believe. Look at, look at about half court. Does it not say season two right there? Season two? what it says like it's not even season two yet i don't know why it even says that but hey it is what it is it doesn't really bug me too much but this is my favorite move to do if you can green the way my brother plays who does grind a little bit of triple threat offline for me is i'm pretty sure he you know just runs to the rim with scotty pippen so you just gotta you know do what fits you guys obviously you know and, and for each person is gonna be a little bit different for me it's steph curry just doing this i can do it with ja morant derrick rose too it's just with Steph Curry, normally you're going to face a not-so-good defender. It obviously didn't work out as well for me as I'm up against Marcus Smart in this game. But you can get through games really quickly. And that's basically the main thing for me is that I'm trying to do. Get through games as quickly as possible while making sure I win them, right? Because if I lose the game, that doesn't do me any good. So I got to win the game, but get through them as quickly as possible. Now, one thing with the update, guys is now when you green shots, it still hits the rim occasionally, which is kind of lame in my opinion. I, I wish, you know, I didn't have to worry about it, you know, doing that, but it is what it is. It's not something that is make or break, but it is what it is. Hey, Steph Curry, I love what I'm seeing right now from Chef Curry. Simple. I mean, I have I missed a three yet? No, and, and it's one of those things I'm, I need to be locked in, otherwise I'll lose some games. Locking in an offline is crazy. But you, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. One last three with Steph here. Bow. And we'll move on to game number two. Simple, easy, and effective. So that game literally took me like two minutes to do. Okay. And so at this rate, obviously with the vault loading into a new game, stuff like that, it's going to take me a little while. Right. But it's not going to take me a long time. Realistically, I should have this done in like an hour and a half if I just purely sweat triple threat offline which is all i've got to do i don't have to worry about anything else sweating triple threat offline a thousand and oh yo yo, yo do y'all see that a thousand a thousand mt out of a one two minute triple threat offline game i'll take that game number two here all of the same i mean simple you get this one move down into a green you'll get through games literally so quickly because all you got to do is score 21 points takes you two to three minutes per game you guys do the math and honestly, hear me out. If the vault opens once out of every five times, or, you know, maybe better, and I get, you know, that 1250 MT, that adds up too. I'm not telling you guys that grinding triple third offline is going to be your best meta for MT probably. But hey, if you're bad at the game, maybe it is. I do not love grinding triple threat offline. I don't. 
I know. Because it, it, to me, it is like a mindless grind, right? I do the exact same thing every possession. But that's the best method to do it. Otherwise, it's going to take you longer than it takes me. But with that being said, if you use a lineup similar to what I'm using, and look, I've made two, I've made 2.5 thousand MT literally in less than 10 minutes. But if you use a lineup like me, you're going to have some success. I'm honestly surpri surprised the vault has opened as much as it has. Like for me, maybe like once out of every three games I've expected it, but it's opened already two times and I've got, you know, 1250 MT, which probably is not going to continue. But at this rate, hey, it's been pretty productive on, on, on the road to 250k as well because I'll take all the MT I can get heading into the new season. So look, maybe, maybe this is the, is the method for making MT. I'm not going to play triple threat offline that much, but are you kidding me? Basically 4,000 MT in like 12 minutes. This is ridiculous. And honestly, guys, watch my YouTube videos. Watch Twitch if I'm not. Watch whatever. Watch Netflix. I don't care. But look, if you're trying to get centerpieces done, and you are doing it like I am, and I'm not even, like, again, you don't have to have Steph Curry. You can have Ja Moran. You can have anybody, bro. Literally anybody. Donovan Mitchell. And just hoop, man. Just, just, just literally hoop. It, it's really not that difficult to get wins, and, and I'm showing you guys that right now. I've been on this for, I don't know how long, not that long, and I've already got five wins. If you can get 15 to 20 wins per hour, which you guys should easily be able to do, what, 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 I mean, what, what is your eyes reasoning for not grinding? If I'm grinding offline, y'all should too. I hate offline. Everybody else I've seen with the 20-pack unlimited box from yesterday or that I opened yesterday has had better luck than me. Between my 10 and 20 box, I literally didn't pull hardly anything good. I never expect anything good to come out of it. It's just, you can't. If you expect something good, you're probably going to get let down. I just got 1250 MT again. I just realized there's no 500 MT here, which is crazy. So I'm I'm actually, like, I've made 5,000 MT in like 15 minutes here. That's a pretty good rate, if you're asking me. While grinding for the centerpiece, it's pretty good. Miami Heat, okay. A new trophy added to the collection as well. Okay, I see you, Ty. We've played a few more games, and the one time the vault did open, I got two tokens. And am I personally a fan of getting two tokens? No. Give me the MT every day of the week, and guys are seeing my MT just low key slowly grow. I wish it was more than uh, more than I'm getting, but look here, guys. Before you know it, we're at 228 wins, moving and grooving. Only what 22 wins away from the centerpiece. We're hoping. We're now at 130 wins, and I do believe the vault opened it. I did get a current trophy, as I did. Here's a big one I need to hit on, because, I mean, I honestly, I've gotten a lot of the moments trophies, but current trophies, I've got to find a way to hit on. Phoenix Suns, that's perfect for me, because I think that's where I'm headed next, is that division, exactly. So, any, any you know, new things I can get is a massive W right now. Because we're only 20 games away. I did have one last thing to get done. And, and it's in the lifetime agendas, okay? It is five three-pointers to, a, you know, with Pelicans players. Now, it's not easy to do, especially on super di Superstar Difficulty with Devontae Graham. But we're making it work. We got it done in the first game. But it's a struggle. And I'll show you guys what I mean here when I say it's a struggle. Like, Devontae Graham's got, like, a C3 ball. And, on super and it's on Superstar. So, like, the green window is not that large. But I can make it work. It's just... I guess it's a B minus three ball, but it's it's just not that easy to get done. Let's let's see. Come here. Not what I wanted at all. <laughs> oh my gosh! And then he'll get cold. And then the three ball will go to a C minus. Like I've, I've experienced this already last game. I got it done last game, but it was not easy. And it's something I might be able to get done in like domination. But while I'm here, I might as well get it done. There we go, Devonte Graham. What's it? Uh, I wish he had sharp badge, but it's it is what it is. Well. We find it is a little bit of a struggle, though. No no doubting that, man. It's not easy. Come here, Devontae. There it is. Another green. Yo, I swear his green window is so small. I promise. Wide open green. Okay, he already got two threes. Moving in the right direction. And after this game, I'm only going to be 18 games away just chipping away at it, right? That, that I can't look at it in, you know, the full the full approach because then I'll never feel like I'll get any progress done. You got to just chip away at it, man. 
It's all you gotta do. Come here. Yep. Good boy. Run. Devonte. No step up. Is that another green? Okay. Never mind. I this was a lot harder last game. I promise. I'm just thanks, thankful I got that done with Devonte Graham because now I, I don't have to worry about that. Right? The Pelicans three pointers is done. Got another trophy to add to my trophy case. And you guys might be wondering, Ty, why are you saving them all? Be, look, I don't want to mess it up again. I accidentally messed it up. We're, you know, trying to get Richard Jefferson. So when it comes down to it right now, I think Anthony Davis is what I want next. And then going back to Dr. J. But I want to just make sure I do it right and do it right first. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I'm a firm believer that triple threat offline is the best way to get your account in a better position. Now, whether that's MT, uh, maybe not, but just all around. You get MT, you get tokens, you get current trophies, which are, are hard to come by. I'm telling you guys that right now. I mean, how many people are missing current jerseys, current team photos, all of that stuff? So I'm not saying for you guys to go grind triple thread offline. I'm just saying it's not that bad, right? I mean, it's really not. So we're at 235 wins, and that is where I'm going to leave off this episode today. One thing I will say is this, okay? And, and I'm not saying this in a good, bad way, anything like that. I'll say it. I do not think Triple Threat Offline is a bad mode to grind at all. I mean, I, I really don't. Between MT, I mean, look, I, I started this video with what? Just over 100,000 MT, made a decent amount of MT. You get trophies along the way. You get tokens along the way. It ends with the centerpiece. I know it's offline, right? And if you are a comp, you're not going to want to play offline modes. But one thing I will say is the rewards are a lot better than I anticipated when, anticipated when we started this. Now, do got a moments trophy pack to open up from domination of... Uh, from yesterday and, 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 and that's where i'm gonna leave you up again trophy wise i want to put myself in the best position heading into next season and that's the same thing with centerpieces obviously i've got to finish those 15 games today but I, again it's mindlessly grinding it's not like i gotta focus it i can watch you know netflix i can watch youtube watch other streamers while i'm doing it and that's something that i am personally a pretty big fan of as i did get a new milwaukee bucks trophy case reward which is a massive massive w as you're looking at my trophy cases again i've got 30 plus trophy cases two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 trophies in here waiting to be redeemed. And that's not even including the ones I could lock in for in the exchange right now. So to say my account's in a good position when it comes to the trophy case, I don't think gives it enough attention or, or you know, an, an enough noise. But I, I'm in a good position heading into Season 2 as long as I do finish Triple Threat offline. That's going to wrap it up for our video today, guys. Hopefully, each of you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.